I'm gonna show you three of my favorite 3D printed puzzles while I print a fourth. The first one has an easy side and a hard side. Easy side fits in like this. The hard side is a lot more difficult because you have to tilt the pieces just a little bit in order to get all four of them to fit. The second one is a jigsaw puzzle. It's very straightforward, but nonetheless difficult. Here's the solution. Moving on to the puzzle I like the most, it's the maze canister. There are three notches on one side and a maze on the other, and you'll have to guide three notches through the maze in order to open and close it. This one is difficult because you can't really see where you're going sometimes. The cap with the three notches is blocking your view as you go lower and lower through the maze. And good luck trying to take the cap off. Can't even see the maze which makes it a perfect gag gift. Yeah, go ahead. Your 20 bucks is at the bottom. You just need to turn left, right, up, down, left again, up all the way, and then right three-fourths, up, down, left, and then you'll have it open. The last puzzle is called a Japanese puzzle box, and I'm printing it right now. Got three hours remaining on the green pieces, and I will say I did not use the most well-preserved filament, so we might see some deformities. However, I think it should work. One of the most important things about 3D printing filament is that it does not get wet anyway like humidity in the air so you can get one of these i think they're called moisture boxes and it's like a little oven to dry out your filament so it'll be like new if you haven't used it in a while from the time lapse you can actually see what happens when the filament is not kept well one of the corners of the pieces is bending upwards and that's why you want your filament as dry as possible so you can get the most quality part but these parts still turned out okay i need to super glue a few things and then we can put it all together so I could not find these instructions anywhere online. So my first run through, I was going off of pictures and I put in some parts backwards and couldn't even get it open. So I forced it back open and then was able to do it the correct way, which you'll see right here. It's also called a false chest because at first glance, it looks like maybe just a block. But if you know the secret 10 step directions, you can actually open it to a little cavern within. There's not much to it. You really just need to pull on one of the faces till it gives a little bit. But you'll need to do that around the whole thing about 10 times before it will fully open. You'll know you did it right when one of the pieces easily comes out and then the rest will follow suit. And that is the Japanese puzzle box. So those are the four puzzles. Thanks for watching this video and check out my other 3D printing videos.